If you're watching this, then that means that I believe that you can change the world with your actions. Whether you are a United States governor or senator down to a United States resident, you have the power to make a change. All it takes is a brain, a heart, and a voice. Now, before I ask you to change the world with me, I would like to tell you a story about the man you're looking at. His name, Alvin Codner, a.k.a. AC. Back in 2015, Alvin Codner was homeless, sleeping in and out of his car on Mondays through Saturdays in motels on Sundays if financially feasible. Now, at the same time, AC was a full-time graduate school student as well as working a full-time high-energy job at an elementary school. If you can fathom that, the difficulties on trying to be successful in all areas were quite numerous. So let's talk numbers. AC brought home well to his car, $1,005 bi-weekly, equaling $2,010 per month. Back in 2015, San Francisco moved up to the number one spot, being the most expensive city to live in in the United States. The average one-bedroom at the time was $3,500 for rent. Now, the average studio was approximately $2,600. Section 8 housing was full and had between an eight-month to two-year waiting list. The cheapest rent around for a single room in a house was approximately $1,400, at which where you had to make three times the rent, and those were located in surrounding cities like Sacramento that was approximately two hours away from Alvin's workplace. Mind you, gas prices on average was between $3.65, to four dollars and fifteen cents per gallon now that's just the cost of living which ac can't afford since he has credit card and school loan debt to pay back from his undergraduate schooling along with currently paying the cost for graduate school that alone garnishes his monthly income significantly god forbid that AC gets into an accident or has a health issue where he isn't able to work, then he wouldn't even be able to pay for anything on top of the additional medical bills. Now, this isn't just AC's story because a lot of people who do live in the less fortunate areas are simply one unfortunate event away from being homeless and out of luck. Simply put, the barriers were endless and the trials and tribulations were continuous for AC, but there was one thing that he was overly grateful for, and that was the CalFresh program, which allows California residents to purchase hot meals with their EBT card from selected restaurants if deemed eligible. The state gave the authority to each county to provide selected restaurants that are available to participate in the program. The CalFresh program was highly beneficial to AC and other homeless citizens at the time for the simple fact that when you're homeless, you don't have a stove to cook on and you never truly get a freshly cooked hot meal. With this program, homeless people would at least get one hot meal a day out of their fixed monthly food stamp benefits compared to getting no hot meals a day, which leads to eating junk food, which leads to acquiring bad eating disorders and habits, which ultimately leads to various physical and mental health problems. Now, if you ask any homeless person, I can assure you that they would say that this program makes a big difference. The most common law that majority of the United States have when it comes to the distribution of EBT cards is that the recipients are only allowed to purchase cold foods with their EBT card, but since 1977, the Federal Food Stamp Act has given states the ability to implement a restaurant's program, such as the CalFresh program, that allows vulnerable and at-risk populations such as the homeless, elderly, and disabled who cannot cook meals for themselves at home and or simply cannot cook meals for themselves because they have no place to reside. Even though the Federal Food Stamp Act has passed in 1977, 40 some odd years later, only two states, California and Arizona, took advantage of it and implemented those food programs in their state. So now that you see the issues, Fast forward into present time, and here's Alvin's solution. AC is originally from Kissimmee, Florida, so what he's doing is going around meeting with local elected officials within his city, county, and state district, not only to just create the awareness of the food program, but to inspire state officials to take action and introduce a restaurant meals program in his state, and to be open to suggesting alternative options, or at the least, simply giving the authority down to the local government level to implement the program per county or city by a majority voting process. AC's first attempt was shot down and diverted because people stated that Florida already has a similar program, but it's only enacted by the state when it's a state of emergency. But I believe that homelessness 
<laughs> Living in conditions where food is scarce and a hot meal is rare and majority of the time unreachable, every day is an emergency. So for a second attempt, he's asking you for help to make a positive change in his state as well as other states in the nation to enact the restaurant meals program. If you are a U.S. state citizen, call, write, or email your local congressman or congresswoman, city or county commissioner, state reps, and etc., to present the idea and suggestion of a hot meals program. Show up to the public hearings and speak up about the idea. Now, if you are a elected official watching this, take action. Present it to your state governor and senator to have them sign off on passing a bill that will give the authority down to the counties and the states, just like how California and Arizona did. Reach out to the California and Arizona elected officials and ask them how the program is benefiting their communities. As I stated earlier, this is all possible. All you need is a brain to comprehend the benefits, a heart to give to the less fortunate, and a voice to spread the word. So there you go. A way to change the world. And today is always a good day to change the world. Be grateful and be positive throughout your journey on being a change agent. Now go change something for the better because it doesn't get better until something changes. That's life.